we have we have information that we have information that they were not Syrian nationals. Observatory head uh, Rami Abdel Rahman Rahman told DPA. Um, he added that the number of the dead is likely to the rise as the attack left the unspecified number of injuries, some of them in critical condition. The state of Syrian news agency Senna, Senna said four soldiers were injured in the early Thursday uh, attack. So far there have been no official comment from Israel. Washington to stay far away from Crimea and its Black Sea coast 
says the buildup is a three-week snap military drill to test combat readiness in response to what it calls threatening behavior from NATO. It has said the exercise is due to wrap up within two weeks. Ahead of the notification about U.S. warships, Russia's Navy on Wednesday began a drill in the Black Sea that rehearsed firing at surface and air targets. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called on Moscow on Tuesday to end its troop buildup. Shalom. Foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash. The honors to the elders and apostles for their edification and knowledge. Kahali Ayam Yah, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash. Give all praise again to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash. This relates to um, what the Iran tension, uh, Israel and Iran uh, airstrike tensions, and also a video relating to um, the canceling and the. Um, um, sending um, warships to uh, the Black Sea. Turkey might have misunderstood the notification, for example, or the you know communication or notification relating to uh, their um, what they wanted to do as far as um, uh, sending um, sending ships in that area. So. <laughs> I'm going to get a few scriptures. I'm going to get uh, Matthews 24, Luke 21, Mark 13. Matthew 24, 6 to um, 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And that's what we hear. Um, we hear wars and rumors of wars related to these nations, the tensions of these nations Iran, Israel, Russia, uh, U.S., Crimea. Ukraine, um, Japan, um, China, with uh, Taiwan, and all these nations that are, you know, the tensions are building up between these two, these power, these power, superpower uh, nations, man. This is a red letter. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in different places. Lots of fam lots of famines, of course. Famines. Africa with the uh, the locust. Uh, pestilence. We've seen pestilence all over the place. Different types of funky, uh, diverse weather patterns. This happened all over the world. Floods, snowstorms, hails, tornadoes, hurricanes. Um, that's just the beginning, you know, all these are the beginnings. Number eight, all these are the beginnings of sorrow, and that's the times we're in. The beginnings of sorrow is relating to the birth pangs, relating to the woman in travail. You know what I mean? But these are all the beginnings, man. We're noticing the consistency, how frequent and how, 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 um, how uh, consistently these things are, um, are happening. So I'll let you know that um, these birth pangs, uh, the, the, expe uh, the expediency relating to the birth pangs is increasing more and more. So that's symbolic, you know. Uh, number um, 21, Luke 21. Red letter. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. And then he said unto them, 
nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Great earthquakes, and that's what great earthquakes. We see a lot of earthquakes happening. A lot of destruction in various places of the world. Great earthquakes shall be in different places. Famines, pestilence, fearful sightings, UFO, meteor type things falling. If they leave in um, um, Canada, there was uh, a nighttime a meteor was falling and then hail, then a hail storm after that it affected the weather somehow, weather patterns. So we've seen a lot of fearful sightings, UFO, chariot sightings, a lot of strange, phenomenal things in the skies that's happening, man. A lot of fearful things in the sky that's happening. And great earthquakes and it shall be and great earthquakes shall be in different places of famines and pestilence and fearful sightings and great signs shall be from the heaven because they sent by the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yasha um, measured out time diligently in itself but the Lord is beginning to visit what he has made man. so all these things that we are saying is from the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yasha man, the Father and the Son I'm going to go to Mark in 13 And it was a couple of videos relating to China was doing underground operations, the China frogmen training. So it's a lot of drills and operations between these countries that's um, happening. And I believe the um, U.S. was giving Taiwan a, a, a missile system to defend itself against um, their adversary, against China. You know what I mean? Um, a system of anti-missile systems to defend against the, um, the opposition. So a lot of these nations are, are building up, you know what I mean? They're building up pretty much for a potential war, man. This is Luke, um, I mean, not, uh, Mark 13, I'm going to read 7 and 8. And, and when he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars... Be not troubled, for such things must me be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and for there shall be earthquakes in different places, and there shall be famines and troubles. We've seen a lot of troubles. And these are the beginnings of sorrows, man. These, these commotions, the civil unrest, all these are the beginnings of sorrows, man. This the times we're, this the times we're in, man. We've been in these times for a long time, but now, it's really make it's really manifesting itself pretty much on another level, man. So we really seeing it a lot more, you know. Manifest is to to make make clear, to make known, to declare, to be made known. So these signs are being made known, they're being clear, they're being transparent, and they being they and they being and they being made to be known, man. Because the Lord is pretty much visiting uh, what he has made, man, with these signs. This is the beginning. Um, yeah, that was it on that. I want to get, um, let me see. Because ultimately, these nations, they have missiles, nuclear missiles, pointed at Russia has missiles that can come here in 30 minutes, under 30 minutes. We got missiles that go can go there. So the end game is if, if one goes off, they all go off. You know what I mean? So the spirit that Ezekiel 38, talking about Magog, Magog and Gog and his allies, U.S. and his allies, U.S. and Israel and his allies, these nations going together. But it's going, the Lord's going to put a spirit where these nations are going to send these things, man, these missiles, man. I want to go to Revelations 11 and... Um, It might sound far-fetched and like these things can never happen, but uh, for most people of the world, they can't they can't fathom or see these things ever happening. But there's a potential that it could happen, man. And scripturally speaking, it will. Eleven and fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe come quickly. That third woe come quickly. That's World War Three, man. The second woe is already passed. 
a long time ago. The third woe is the, is the one to come, man. And this was something short relating to that. Because even um, on one of the Fox, the videos, uh, Fox News talk about U.S. congressman, uh, Hawaiian congressman Tulsi Gabber. She was talking about relating to uh, potentially it could be World War III. Even she knows that um, that it would mean it would mean pretty much death and destruction on a level that most people can never fathom or understand. You know what I mean? Just remember the movie Terminator, man. Even she knows that. You know what I mean? So these things could. This is this is a real thing, man. You know. We in real times. This prophecy is real. These things are manifesting. That being said, the water for listening. Give all praise to Allah. Shemiyah. Shalom. Shalom. Thanks. Mm -hmm.